Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many JavaScript developers encounter. How to check whether a string is present in an array using Lodash. Our viewer has shared a code snippet that seems to be giving unexpected results. Let's dive into the details and find out how to fix it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Okay. To check if a string is present in an array using Lodash, we can use the dot includes method. This method checks if a value exists in an array and returns true or false. In your case, you want to check if the string hello is present in the array. Let's modify your code to use dot includes instead of sum. Now when you run this code, the variable f will correctly return true if hello is found in the array. Remember, dot includes is case sensitive. If you need a case insensitive check, you might want to convert both the array elements and the string to the same case before checking. In summary, use score.includes for a straightforward check or dot sum for more complex conditions. This will help you determine if a string exists in an array effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To check if a string is present in an array using JavaScript, you can use the index of method. If the string is found, it returns the index. If not, it returns migas1. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To check if a string is present in an array using Lodash, you can use the score.sum method. Create a function that compares each element to your target string. Alternatively, you can use ES6's includes method directly on the array for a simpler solution. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one.